douche on my stickies. <laughs> We're live. Welcome back to ESEA Orange. This is Admirable. Still here with Blink and Truck Truck and... We're gonna go to map 2 here of this lower bracket round 1 game between Classic Mixup and... Street Hoops Esports and they probably needed that long break to pick themselves back up after that 5-0 Millering they just got there on map 1 Badlands. Yeah, they uh... The time here, well, you know, the icing, if you will, it's probably gonna help out uh, Street Hoops. Give them a little time, you know, clear their head and whatnot, and, you know, just look past it, you know, okay, we lost. What's in the past is in the past. What can we do this game to, you know, pull out the W? And, uh, well, double soldier bombs. We have another map here where they, I'd say it's like a 50-50 on their effectiveness, but uh, that's kind of their go-to option. But, you know, maybe they feel a lot more comfortable considering they had a really close 5-4 with Elevate. And, you know, they probably feel like Mixup is on the same sort of terms of uh in like in terms of skill they're in the same level mm -hmm. as elevate so they figure if we had that close of a game with them you know on this map why not play it again while we feel like we're hot on it which uh, i can follow that train of thought yeah i can't fault it and i mean this is their pick their chance to uh take the game by the horns really and try and get back into this one um not entirely sure how they're going to do that. I'm looking for more from Deadbolt in those situations, like the Uber fights where the Uber's just about to fade. He needs to be in control or uh, slightly more available to uh, back up. You see that how well-timed Classic Mix-Up are. As soon as that Uber's fading, the flashes are coming on, and uh, everybody's just coming straight in to back up Platinum. Even though, like... His Uber trades are just use, against Great, we're usually like, you know, 50 50. Like, both have done damage and forced the Uber. There's no real uh, advantage to be gained, but his backup is almost instantaneous in a lot of those engagements I saw. Some crazy plays coming out, like just random stuff going on. Uh, like, where we saw the crits fail and then the medic <laughs> get dropped in the house before he even had Uber. Like, bizarre stuff going on at the same time, which uh, always makes the game really random, but the scoreline would tell you anything but that. It was a classic mix-up in control the whole time, it seemed 5-0. Yeah, um, yeah, Platinum's Ubers, I mean, you know, as we saw, the point I made on the previous map was Street Hoops really needs to not be afraid to fight, even if they're a man down, because, you know, the good thing is, like, especially if it's a scout, too, um, maps in general, there are, like, two to three choke points that enemy teams generally come in, but for the most part, you kind of know which door they're going to be coming through, so, like, you know, especially when you have your spam classes up, like, you can still fight those things, like, and in general, when you're on defense, you always have the slight advantage, because, you know, you're receiving the other person's aggression, they're starting, so you're merely reacting to what you see, and you generally have a better spot to fight from, so. I'd definitely like to see him not give up as much ground, and on the note of, on um, Platinum's Ubers, like, you know, he takes these deep solos, and then, you know, he kind of jumps to the flank, or jumps around and, you know, wreak havoc, and then, um, and us just kind of backs up into the rest of his team, whereas Grape, you know, he's kind of, he's taking these Ubers and kind of chasing End us a little bit deep, and more often than not, he's just getting collapsed on by the rest of Mixup, so he really needs to pay attention to his post-Uber positioning, as well as kind of where he takes Ninja Nick on these fights, and his team needs to be a little bit more responsive and receptive to uh, how Mixup is utilizing their Ubers. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It seems a little bit like he thinks he's playing ulti duo or something. Uh, like he's trying to kill one of the pocket or the medic, but really like what an uber trade is all about is setting yourself up for the, the second push, like the re-push, whether that's happening instantly or in, a, you know, like 15 seconds after you rotate or something, but uh, his team and I guess him in a way is uh, not setting up for that or they're just sort of, uh, they've got a very short-term uh, game plan. It's like, can I win this one fight? Okay, no, now what? But already mix up or a few moves ahead of them they're setting up they're ready to stack the next fight but uh just it's hard to i can't like pin it all on great because it's his team need to be there too to be like ready waiting like they have to expect this to happen and be set up to follow up on that but uh both teams sitting here with six players a piece so game should be getting underway and oh 
my psychic powers were tingling there. I knew it, it, my spider <laughs> we're going sense. going live here, Ed. So, I know you mentioned Grape last, so I'm going to put my camera on Grape. I feel like, you know, this game's really... He's kind of going to have to step it up, you know, because Platinum, his Ubers have been on point so far in when these teams are going head-to-head. -head, so it's kind of... The Otis is on Grape to perform. I still totally believe. I shoot all the way, and... Deadbolt had a nice roll out there, gets that slide on the steps. He's coming in now to contest Zilox, but neither gentleman are going to be doing too much in this initial phase of the middle. Now you see Hardly and Platinum both up top with a double soldier bomb. It's real. They're in deep there, but it's Arctic Joe and Enigma who get the first blood. Totally denying both of those 20B soldiers, crushing Grape and Ash. And this. Fight has turned into several different fights. In fact, uh, Arctic Joe going to clean up Sizer there on the point who just killed off Zelox, but Platinum was poised to go for Ninja Nick and Paragon, but they've backed out and they're going to build up. So mix up, take the point, but it's going to be pretty much neck and neck in terms of Ubers. In fact, Endos is behind here. Yeah, Endos wasn't really able to sync up with someone, whereas Ninja Nick, you know, when he recognized his team had lost a mid fight, you know, he had somebody to heal the whole way as he backed out. But we do see Platinum and Zalox, they should be able to get a pick off here, maybe. Not Grape, actually able to make it out there. Arctic Joe does go down, trying to finish off the frag on Grape, getting a little overzealous, if you will. But uh, we have Ash kind of peeking up on the saw here with Har Blue dropping a little bit low, too. And okay, for a second I thought we were paused and that was going to be very sad, but we have the push. It actually coming in right now. Great, really aggressive here in mid. Where's the rest of his team as he misses the air shot? That would have been a really good time to sell his yet. Yeah, Enigma's just gonna flank him. Endos finally pops. Zalox goes down, but there are so many people in the deep red on Street Hoops. We have a four on four engagement here, but this is more or less gonna be a reset here. Whoever gets the next frag probably wins this fight, actually. A Paragon goes down, so I see mix up. He's probably going to be able to take two off of this. Yeah, Ninja Nick goes down. Harblue getting a nice 2k there. And the scrappy fighting, you know, just as it was on Badlands where it favored them. Uh, once again, mix up. You just take these engagements and they pull out ahead. I feel like uh, Street Hoops, like, the reason they pushed in the first place is just because they've done a lot of damage to Harblue. And I think that's a great play to make, you know, push on the damage. You don't even need the frag sometimes because he was running. And... Uh, his team were sort of short-handed there, but they pushed and then they stopped and turned around and like ran away when they should have kept going, I feel. But they didn't take that gamble and we've seen it in previous engagements and as such they were just sort of one running away, very confused, got smashed a little bit by Platinum from the window and now they're finding themselves defending their own last. Right now, as it stands, so it's a big uber advantage here for mix-up and they're gonna lead forward. As soon as they saw that heal beam of Ninja Nick there in lobby, they thought they could go for it, but the only frag they have found, well, they haven't found any frags, in fact, Zelox just respawned in there, but uh, they've sort of handed Uber advantage over to Street Hoops, but they don't have their charge yet and they've already lost Ash. They're about to lose Paragon as well. He does trade with Harblue, but uh, it's gonna be 13 seconds before they can push with confidence. Yeah, a lot of this, these pushes just feel, you know, so half committed by Street Hoops. Like, you know, the previous push out in the mid, you know, great. Got a lot of space. Hard, they had a pick, I believe, on Arctic Joe as well as Hard Blue is really damaged. So you can almost count that as two picks mm -hmm. in that uh, situation. And, you know, Grape had the right idea, but the rest of his team, you know, getting, I guess it's the land scares maybe. Same thing as the previous map where, like, you know, one pick, it's not enough. So, you know, they just kind of hope to reset, maybe go for more, but, like, when you're already down a game in a series, you know, it's really just Mixup gets a pick on them, they push, they succeed, you know. Street Hoops, they get a pick, they don't push, and gradually they end up failing, so. They should really just, you know, make the opposite choice of what they've been doing so far, and it'll probably pan out for them. Uh, are playing the Engineer here, Paragon on Sniper. And the whole defense is stacked up on the, the left hand side on that red perspective. Uh, mix up of no idea about this yet because they're just sitting outside uh, waiting to see what happens, trying to formulate a plan at the same time. I'm just going to peek here, but he's going to be running in to Platinum. He will be able to escape. Platinum jumps in with a skip jump off the wall. Hardwood already been in first. Both of them will die. He says are getting credit for both frags. Sentry gun and shotgun grape onto Enigma as well. So the three man suicide comes out. Will Street Hoops take the bait? 
And it's looking like they're pushing out. The key to beating this is you don't actually want to commit for the point. Whenever Mixup does this, like, three-man sack is, yeah, you want to get the force, but no, they kind of made... Yeah, they made the mistake. They go down Paragon, they lose another. This this is going to be a lost round. Yeah, I think Mixup's going to win the round in the next, like, 20 to 30 seconds here. The scout on point, really banged up. Yeah, Arctic Joe's going to go down, but there's a lot of damage. Mixup just needs to get aggressive now. Hard blue bombing in, a lot of damage. There you go, just two up. Paragon's a respawn, Ash goes down, so I'm going to finish the point I was trying to make earlier. Whenever Mixup does this three-man, four-man suicide, they're baiting you to commit to pushing on the point. All you want to do is merely, like, bomb one soldier, maybe half commit with, like, a scout, and everybody just kind of spam, and then just get the force and leave. Like, you're not actually trying to cap second there, but, you know, street hoops, they took the bait, and, you know, Mixup just executed, and now they're up 1-0. Yeah, like you, you want most of your players to be well behind your Uber or your combo, but they were all just in the in the mixer there. Uh, onto this second mid fight and mix up one nil up. Paragon playing on the hut sees Harbly jump in high. Slicer jumps in and Harbly air shots and sort of Goomba stumps in mid air there. That was bizarre. Harbly's just like, what the hell happened? He's up there on the left hand side. Meanwhile, the fight is continuing on the mix up side, but. Three of them are just standing there, Zelox, Arctic Joe, and Indus trying to clean up what comes. And probably still behind there coming in distracting again. Zelox is looking to go forward, but Arctic Joe's so weak. He's gonna catch a rock oh. at their with the huge air shot. And that fight was just turned on its head by that one direct <laughs> rocket there from Grape. He he got graped with ease, that's for sure. Ooh, incredible. It could have gone either way for sure. Look at Enigma though, hiding here. Uh, it's going to come in on the Ninja Nick. He's giving the run around on the pillar, but Adam down at 87 there, the lowest, but will not be able to land a fatal shot. Didn't even think about popping there, it seemed Ninja Nick. He was in uh, a Zen state, supremely confident that his team had him covered. They're going to start walking in on the left and it's free admission here. No need to pop. They're going to get way into the classic mix up combo before they even have to use. Ash and Grape trying to pump out that damage. Ash is going to die though, no flash for him. And it's not going to be a close fight though. Enigma is sitting here with the heavy weapons guy fully spun up. Hardly, I don't know, behind somewhere, but he's All not right, going to be so, able to well, They've got a little bit of wind in their sails, you know, not a uh, not a complete blowout. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the very least, they can say they've got a round on the boards. But uh, this map is definitely. It's like I said with the Elevate earlier, I think they're feeling a little more confident, so they're just showing up and playing their game. As I'm actually paying attention to Deadbolt here, actually matching Zalox. Zalox going with the Saw Room rollout, Deadbolt with lower. No real early damage, we do have a very high bomb coming out of Hard Blue really early. Ash though just gets obliterated from the map, he, he gets turned to Ash practically. Sizer <laughs> manages to take down Hard Blue and end us, so not all is lost. For 20B, can he get there? And oh my god, Deadbolt! Holy cow! So, uh, managing to save Ninja Nick, Zalox underneath 88 health. We got some one on one demo man dueling. Oh, but Enigma manages to sneak around and kill Ninja Nick, so. Saves the round potentially, at least. Well, at least the Uber advantage now goes towards a uh, classic mix up. Yeah, he's like a bloodhound there. Somehow find Ninja Nick hiding under those stairs on last, and. Uh... Credit to Harblue on that middle, he did this incredibly goofy bomb where he just jumped straight very high in the air and was like strafing around trying to uh, make people look at him but he was raining down big rockets like lots of damage coming up for him and I think he found two frags there and really split up the push or the attempt at aggression from 20B but uh, as it stands the mix up have only taken that midpoint and they haven't managed to cap 4 yet but they almost have uber charge, that's probably what's uh, making them a little hesitant, and the fact that they're two down here with no demo man, and there's a sniper up there in the lobby, Sizer's uh, peeking from cheese now, he's looking towards Sauron, but uh, still, Mixup haven't actually backed out, they're just standing on grass, waiting for their opportunity to push, but Sizer is watching, he's just tagged Arctic Joe there, so the information is available, Sniper is watching the point, they're going to go under now, Platinum and Arctic Joe moving forward a little bit with Indust, but it doesn't seem like they're going to commit under, they're just trying to intimidate their opponents enough, but taking all that time they have allowed uh, uber to come up for street hoops so it will be uber versus uber here on last and that ain't easy no it certainly isn't as uh, paragon actually opting to go heavy here rather than swapping off sniper which 
Earlier when they played against Elevate, he was doing a lot of work on Sniper on defense, just constantly getting 1 to 2Ks even, and opening it up from Elevate, as it looks like we're probably going to have another botched sack attempt. Um, so we have two picks here on the side of Street Hoops. I'd really like to see him actually succeed on the push out here. They need to move relatively quick and get the Ubers out of the way, because as you can see by now, the spawns have already come into effect, so at this point, you don't even want to push out. Well, Platinum trades with Sizer, which is pretty decent, but there you go. Zalox deaths the trap. Grape goes down. Ninja Nick's kind of hurt. This is where, you know, at this point, you're trying to reset. Yeah, Platinum did a great job holding that lower area as well. Did a bunch of damage to Ash. Taking lumps out of him as well. He's getting that frag on to Sizer. Now you see Mix Up coming in on the left. Are they going to commit Indus though? That's the question. Is this the, the fake push? And it seems like Indus is going to back out a little bit with Zalox. And, uh, Ninja Nick has read it, he's just going to hide in the spawn here. They, they're very aware of the suicide as a potential play from Classic Mixup, and this time they haven't taken the bait, they've backed out, and now they can move forward here. But again, they need to make sure they don't come out to, Oh, great nice to the same sticky trap again! And uh, Ninja Nick is going to pop, but he's already two players down. They should probably be looking for the exit here. And they are going to start moving back into that lobby. Sizer's moving forward, sees his man, he's going to kill horribly there. Deadbolt finds Platinum as well, it is 4 on 4 here, the two spawns coming up on last for the red team. Arctic Joe on the flank here, he's in onto Ninja Nick, has him down to 30, he's trying to land one more shot, he won't get it! Enigma's in there though, and Ninja Nick does go down, the pipe comes in from Zealox, classic mix up, are trying their hardest to find more frags, but Platinum on the respawn is coming in, Harblue's going to be coming from the window, these two soldiers are trying to go huge, they're looking for any frags they can just to trade here, and... Platinum with one rocket will pick up great and dead will right at the end of that fight. God, this is just action packed, but Platinum and Harbu there. Like that was that was pretty beautiful to watch, like the synchronized jumps, you know, just like one comes in, strafes one side, baits the ammo, another jumps in. I mean ultimately they lose the point, but like I think overall they'll be happy with that trade. I mean they went, you know, down three people on the sack and then their Uber exchange didn't go very well, but uh Overall, situations are going to still made out here. A slight advantage for Ninja Nick, but I don't think they're going to identify that. So we're probably going to have a bit of a stalemate here. Yeah, crits are uh, picked up by Ninja Nick, and he's almost got it. 90% right now. They need to be moving forward, looking for that opening. They're going to wait until they actually have it. Uh, Deadbolt is very close here with Ninja Nick. They're coming forward. They have it. The crit has been popped. I'm sorry. The crit has been popped off by them. Now they're uh, moving forward onto the point, but it's Indus, in fact, who is. Uh, very close and now backed off. Now the Uber comes in for them. They have lost Zelox and Enigma though. Uh, they're moving forward here, but they're a man down and their flank is very leaky. Here comes Paragon and Sizer from behind. It's going to be an assassination onto Indus there, but Harblue's on a 3k right now and he's pushing deep behind. The scouts are sort of caught in a sandwich here between Platinum, Zelox, and now Harblue coming from the lower <laughs> world of like trade with oh, Paragon. The good old trade. More hectic plays. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of the times, whenever Street Hoops swap to these critzes, you know, Zalox is identifying that really early and stuffing it. What I'd actually really like to see um, Street Hoops do is actually give Grape the initial crits rocket. Like, I know you're always supposed to give your demo like one to two crit stickies when you have the element of surprise. But a lot of times when they use these crits, like, the fight is just so close quarters that honestly rockets are probably better suited in that scenario. Yes. And then you can swap to stickies as they're trying to retreat, or, you know, if they're starting to collapse on you, you can just lay a minefield around you. Absolutely, man. Like, the, the crit sticky is sort of best used as that mid to long range sniper tool, but up close you want the, the instant damage of the rockets. I'm looking at Harblue's position right now, he's hiding in the red kitchen there. Uh, hoping that somebody will walk in a scout he's looking for probably Enigma's now there to help him bait a little bit he's shown himself as well uh, they're probably aware of two players in that lobby but Mixup gonna step back towards the lobby maybe a little uh, concerned about the potential of crits again but it is gonna be uber versus uber here uh, plays being made on the lower area out the window on the green but nothing coming from it just yet as uh, both teams content to feel each other out a little bit. Harbley's ready for a bomb, but with his rocket as he steps out of the window, doesn't get any momentum there, and he's going to go back and cycle again for more heals, and perhaps lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the second time I've seen Harbley just whiff that, as he says it's hard, um, you know. Maybe, uh, oh, he's just going for a straight-on bomb as he gets air shot. This is where everybody's whiffing 
does about a combined total of 18 damage to Ninja Nick, so... <laughs> Not really, uh, not really what you're looking for in that Roamer sack. I was trying to get a little bit aggressive down here lower. Nothing's really gonna happen though. Mix up, you know. Unlike uh, when street hoops go down one person, they play relatively back. Mix up still, as you can see, they hold up close on the chokes because they recognize it's like, well, even though we're down one, if we fight them at choke points, it kind of nullifies the man advantage they had. So, Hard Blue is gonna respawn here, and he's back on Soldier. I imagine we're gonna see probably a couple more failed window jumps. What do you think? Yeah, you know, uh, practice makes perfect, that's what they say. If they are going to use this game as uh, something to warm them up for their later harder fixtures, why not keep doing it until you get it right? He's going to just shoot rockets from the window this time and does land a accurate one onto Paragon there. Platinum's going to move in and try and follow up on that. Uh, oh, big rockets there! Paragon's going to go down trying to abuse the geometry, but in fact gets abused by Platinum. But they do pop over here, so even though they have managed to get two frags for their trouble, uh, they could be facing a push momentarily, but Enig Enigma's in behind, comes all the way from under, forces the Uber, and his team are totally safe, backing off towards green, they're in the lower lobby area. Uh, they have capped the point as well, so as soon as they see uh, all these red players beginning to cap, they can move forward and try and take the fight on those confined terms, but uh, horribly he's jumping in behind one health after missing that med pack, he's going to go down and... Uh, even though he and Platinum went in deep, it seemed like there was no follow-up, or perhaps it was just an unwise decision. Yeah, I think the timing for it was perhaps slightly too quick there. Like, Z if Zalox was able to make it to the grass area and then help follow up, as Ninja Nick goes down to Enigma flank, so... Enigma just kind of has Ninja Nick's number this game. Mixup's just gonna look to slow down the mid. As I don't think is Street Hoops even gonna contest this. I mean, they're trying to put some cap time. Grapes hiding on the bridge above here, watching lower. Is Mixup gonna come in the contests? I hear an Uber Beam. Yeah, Zalox bombing in. Oh, just mulches Paragon, and uh, two, it looks like that's all they're really gonna get there. Grape, Ash, and Dead will all playing around the uh, blue Sauron. Enigma's coming in behind them. Looking to put out some meat, but uh, he's going to get shut down at Ash and Deadbolt combined. Uh, but most of them will be cleaned up behind now. And I mean, they were sort of stuck there. They have died eventually, but at what cost? They're probably going to sacrifice this second CP and maybe allow them to enter for free onto last. Already, Harblue's moving forward, Platinum, Xelox, and Indus just deciding to cap the point instead. So they're, they're going to be happy to just remain in control here and come up with a, a more measured plan on how to break last. Harblue's already in and sees that there's a sentry gun up, so uh, they can add that into their cognitions. Yeah, I imagine we're probably going to see a few more sacks. Uh, I'm hoping, though, that, you know, maybe Street Hoops is cheating a little bit and listening on to what I said on how to counter the sack, because that's, like, one of the ways, because Mixup wants you to push out, stack the point, and think you can cap. Here, we're just going to have an Uber kind of come out that's not really going to do much. They pop it on Zalox, Enigma goes down, Zalox is going to go down. Well, this is pretty much a disaster zone at this point. Is Ash, 36 health, falling back to last. Is there a back cap? Yeah. Platinum draws both the scouts back, but he has a relatively long respawn timer as Hard Blue is somewhere behind causing havoc as Arctic Joe backs all the way up with Endust. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that uber push was. Uh, Perhaps getting a little bit cocky here, or just misjudging the uber percentages. Yeah, Zilox got a little bit unlucky with the, the juggles on his way out, I guess, but uh, as you say, a bit of a, a misread or questionable decision making. Right now though, Mixup do have a significant uber advantage. Harblue's already pushing in with Arctic Joe from the kitchen, because he sees all these players grouped up on the point, but Half the team aren't even there. I think Joe's gonna survive, but Harbly does go down after killing off Ninja Nick, so you know, mission accomplished. Yeah, the flank right now for Mixup just always seems to find a way to get to Ninja Nick as a Sizer drops him behind. Two shot Zalox. The force does come out. Ash is behind him in the window. Is he gonna get caught out here? Enigma takes down Sizer. Platinum catches out Ash, so this is just, you know. These players that, sure, they get the force, but their deaths, you know, they, they come so far, like, after the point has already happened, like, Mixup's gonna cap this, and they're still gonna have two picks, pretty much, to float in the second with. I mean, Sizer's coming up. Okay, so it's one pick, but, you know, these these really delayed deaths do more harm than good sometimes. Yeah, I like uh, Mixup's decision-making as well. It's like, there's a guy behind, so both scouts go back and make it a two-on-one. 
Uh, then you see Platinum and Endos sort of turning around, cleaning up Ash there in the lower lobby. They're really sacking a lot of these fights. Oh, a random rocket there from Grape catches Enigma directly. Sizer hits Arctic Joe with a, a body shot. Harblue's just stuck in there. He's going to have to go down as well. But Platinum is behind, and I'm not sure if anybody's realized this. He starts the cap here, and now they're facing the decision. They're going to send back uh, both scouts. Sizer from one side, Paragon from the other. Platinum isn't going to be able to pull off the miracle here. He has gone down, but he has at least distracted them. The Uber's coming in here. And uh, Ninja Nick is only on 95%, but he seems to be fairly safe here. Zealox is going to go down. That flash didn't last long enough. Now the Ubers come in, so they're about to lose middle. There are several players behind, and uh, they also are about to face an Uber push from Grape and Ninja Nick, and they're stuck in kitchen here. They have to go forward, or they're going to die. Platinum come in for the force, uh, but Grape is absolutely crushing them there as uh, Deadbolt is cutting off their only escape at the same time. And it's a total meat grinder there around that kitchen area. God, that was that was a bloodbath. Um, yeah, great. The Ninja Nick, you know, just managed to go behind and sort of pinch the uh, mix-up combo that was in the kitchen along with Arctic Joe. So, Platinum and Hard Blue are still down. I mean, we got the force, but two picks is more or less a free point, pretty much. As uh, their Enigma Spy. That's something I haven't seen in a long time. Very, very, very rare. Trying to bring it out, you know. Yeah, the surprise element, if you will. If you don't do it, like, ever, unless you're Kevin Mackey, um, you know, people don't expect it. But he was caught out. Huge Uber advantage here for Ninja Nick. Enigma's still down. We have the Arctic Joe Heavy. That's the only off-class. And it looks like they're going to push this right shutter here. Admirable as they pop relatively early, but nobody drops to the stickies. Heavy might go down. They need to get a scout on the point. That scout chased the Heavy all the way in. Now he's finally going to get to point. Is this going to be around? The point's being blocked. There you go. <laughs> Two to one. Meat shots the soldier away, and Sizer gets the cap. Oh, that was sick of the Sizer POV. <laughs> the item with the buckshot, but that's going to be a 2 1 lead here on the map that Street Hoops picked. They do seem to be uh, a lot more comfortable here. They have been able to control the flow of play, and now they're in the lead. Deadbolt landed a little tag onto Zelox. Ash knows about it. He jumped into the kitchen though and he's going to run into Harblue already having been hit with a sticky himself. He's gone down and already this isn't looking too hot for 20B. They know the longer this fight goes on the less likely they are to win it. Platinum now jumping in distracting a lot of players here. But Grave has just been up top the whole time raining down damage. And uh, he's put out so much damage here but none of his teammates are in with him to help follow up. There's quite a few weak players that are tagged at least but uh, nobody believed me. Just me and Grave. <laughs> Enigma's uh, slowly crushing your dreams here, I have to say, as he's actually playing really, really solid, but, uh, you know, the game is very, very close right now. Street Hoops, I believe, are actually in the lead at 2-1. to one. Um, Just very, very back and forth as Zalox gets a cheeky, sticky trap kill on Paragon. Oh, is Harblue going to get the force here? No, the ops to not commit for it here. There's a lot of scrappy fighting. He's going for the win- doesn't even do the window jump. He just He's like, you know what? I don't want to whiff it again on stream embarrass myself. I'm just gonna drop out and shoot the train a couple of times. He yeah, and Enigma are slowly gaining territory and it's Platinum who makes the window jump. His first rocket went under that wooden bridge but uh, he was then on Ninja Nick's head uh, doing damage by the time he popped. Platinum will spawn in 10 seconds but his team are gonna push on this milk advantage. Moving forward here Enigma cleans up Sizer around the grassy area. Uh, Paragon finds Zealox so then turns around Kills Endust, Arctic Joe and Enigma are going to finally finish him off though, but this fight could still go either way. In fact, just Arctic Joe there trying to fight too, but Ash is going to claim that one uh, from Deadbolt, then run into Platinum on the respawn. And now Platinum fighting Sizer here, but he doesn't realize Deadbolt is coming up on his blind side. Oh, He's that was such a good rocket. The, the skill stick. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. The jukes, the movement. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Finally, he goes down. But Hard Blue, you know, he's bought enough time. But Deadbolt laying the stickies down. All of a sudden, the uh, the cavalry arrives and falls off their horses here. So much for the help. <laughs> the mix-up's gonna be <laughs> losing this mid. What does Harbly thinks happened that Platinum is like going in and done like two, three hundred damage there with his uh, escape plan? I should follow up on that. <laughs> Just bombs into an entire complement of uh, the Street Hits players, but uh, maybe this is just part of the game plan, you know, they're gonna 
They don't like that fight. They're gonna take this one between two and three instead. Uh, it's gonna be Uber versus Uber by the time anyone decides to push, but uh, cookie cutter lineups on both teams. No off class shenanigans. Uh, but now maybe mix up, they get a taste of their own medicine as it seems Street Hoops just want to sit back here on their 2 1 lead. Well, maybe. I imagine we've seen Hardblue whiff a couple of window jumps. What do you think? Does Ash got it in him? Is he going to land the jumps or is he going to whiff and fall out? Well, you know, the, the bar has been set incredibly low. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's a man that believes there is no bar, you know? It's hard to fail if you have no expectations, right? Yeah. You can't judge yourself on uh, other people's achievements. This is all just about what Ash wants to do. He's gonna go down lower and meet his mentor horribly, but then he thinks twice about it. He's gonna go back and get healed up here, but... Uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I think that's the, the important attitude here. Yeah, but uh, so we're just gonna have a lot, a lot of spamming here. Eventually someone's gonna get bored or Ash is gonna go die. Maybe Harblue's gonna go die. I don't know. Is, uh believe Ash probably jumping to the other side, I think. Let me put the cam on him as he's doing a lot of damage to Harblue. Harblue really weak in the grass area if there's any follow-up, but Harblue should be fine. He'll grab a pack, Ash grabs a pack, and we go right back to where we were about 30 seconds ago. So you think this is better than process? <laughs> mm, nah. I think process, that. You, you'd watch soldiers like try to do the- Oh, we have a spy, so Enigma spy coming in hot. Hold up. Oh, Cue oh, the James oh, Bond oh, theme. Oh my god, Ninja Nick goes down. So much for that. He vanished, alright. As uh, Platinum comes in with the Uber, drops great, drops dead bolt. Spots the soldier out lower. Ash has been called on it. He's not going to get much. Okay, uh, later, Harbly. You got hard blown out of the sky, but uh, we have a full wipe here for the street hoops. Yeah, and I like, imagine your dream spy scenario, you don't even have to do anything, the medic just walks with his back towards you, <laughs> into the range of your knife. Sweet backstab there from Enigma, finding that medic pick, open things up for his team. Grape has been spot up in the window there, Platinum's gonna jump up and challenge him, Grape on 19 health will surely be get cleaned up by the combination of Enigma and Harblue, but uh, he's got a little help from Sizer there, but Harblue might be gonna win this uh, 2v1. Can't catch the brown doors game just at the end there. Harbly crushing that flank now going deep onto Deadbolt. And Platinum gonna hit him with another rocket there, but somehow Deadbolt survives and gets credit for Harbly's creator. This guy's got nine lives, but uh, already we see mix up moving in from the lower area. The Uber being popped off, bringing everybody in. They're looking for that medic kick onto Ninja Nick, but they've expended a lot of ammo on him. There's still four other guys left to kill. They will find Ash, but the race one comes in from Sizer. Deadbolt and Grape trying to do work here. The heels are all on Enigma and he seems to be finding the frags for his team. Indust with the arrow as well onto Deadbolt, but overall a very solid push there from Mixup. Yeah, just uh, we got ourselves a real game here, 2-2. Two to two is, uh, I'm gonna watch the... Uh, God, I don't even know who I want to watch at this moment. I'm probably gonna go with Platinum as his rockets have been really, really crisp um, these past couple of games. And I'm curious to see what he's gonna do on this mid-fight as he gets his big 300. Rolling out the top left side bridge, so... A little bit of a reactionary approach as he gets the early rocket on great. Is he gonna get the air shot? Counter jumping the other soldier. Still alive somehow. End us, just keeping him alive. Hit the arrow and us. Oh, is he gonna die to that roller? No, he lives. We have a 5 on 4 scenario, no medic. He's bombing in on the demo. Hits the rockets on the soldier, and this should be a mid fight win for Classic Mix Up. Well, that was interesting watching Platinum. He seemed to go there and go for one soldier kill. He did damage to both of them. Uh, and uh, eventually his team were able to clean up on that. But right at the end, they're grape in onto Endust. And perhaps if Platinum hadn't jumped ahead and just. Protect it as medic, he'd still be alive right there. Uh, I mean, instead of going to look for that frag on Grape, if he just stayed with Indust, the frag would have come to him. TF2. That's true, that's true. He saw the demo, you know, so he tried to kill what was in front of him, but you know, more or less, what's more important is protecting your medic there. Like, the demo is like probably the worst class at beelining for your medic if there's a sack, unless he has the health to sticky jump, but even then. It's not that great as though. We have a lot of scrappy fighting happening here. Enigma and Platinum go down, kind of the big heavy hitters for Mixup at the moment, and, but it looks like that was enough to deter Street Hoops from coming in and defending their second. So once again, Street Hoops kind of just 
falling back from those fights where like it looks even-ish, but they they just opt to give up the ground. We're gonna hear the sentry gun build in Ash already set up. Horrible, he's done a skip jump in here. He's not sure where to go. He does turn his attention on to Ash. The NG just lost the sentry gun, gets that pick. And uh, they're setting up camp here on the left hand side. They're looking for frags. Paragon is doing a good job of pushing them back. Finds that important pick onto Zelox, but the Uber has come out here. The force is what they were looking for and they have found it. But now Platinum wants to continue here. Not satisfied with that, he's going to do an insane skip jump. And uh, they're going to move forward here with a heavy weapons guy. The Uber has been popped off by Indust. Oh, half time. Ah, that, that's why they were pushing it forward. <laughs> Enigma should've... Uh, if Enigma came up scout there, actually, I think mix up mm -hmm. probably 3-2 there, because, like, in the amount of time it took him to be heavy, he would've been there, like, 8-9 seconds prior to that, which meant he definitely would've been there when Platinum was alive, but maybe even Xalox might've still been alive, so... It's, it's one of those little things, you know? He, us as the casters, we can nitpick, but in the heat of the moment, you know, that was his call. He wanted to go <laughs> heavy, but, uh, here you are, we're what tied at two. <laughs> We're tied at a two apiece here, Ads. is a very close game, as I said, so... Um, definitely Street Hoops a lot more comfortable on this map, so uh, my crystal ball is just... I, I've been on point all day. I like this thing. I better I better keep it shiny. It's uh, doing me wonders. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, night and day between getting 5 would as they did on Badlands. They now are in here on a contest. Uh, a lot of people seem to be AFK at the minute, so perhaps... A uh, little break going on, and maybe a real life team huddle. I've saw, I've seen it at uh, I-52. Or Blue Enigma and Platinum, uh, you know, sitting around two in the fat uh, with Seagull as well. But I wonder what they will be thinking, because obviously, uh, despite this being a positive result for Street Hoops, this is uh, a big downturn in the fortunes of mix-up compared to that last map. I wonder what exactly they'll be discussing, what they'll be looking to to change up. Yeah, definitely. It looks like uh, the transition fights have been pretty back and forth. I'd say, though, um, the key thing I've noticed from Mixup is they're getting greedy. Like, the fights that they were winning on Badlands, they aren't having the same success with now on Snakewater, as well as the fact that sometimes, you know, even though the other team is Uber, you know, and they have a pick or they have damage or something, they're kind of overstepping their bounds and outstaying their welcome. And as a result, you know, Street Hoops is punishing them for that, and we have a lot closer of a game. Yeah, that probably has a lot to do with uh, the way Snake Water plays. Uh, as it stands right now, I'm seeing 11 players on the server. I'm trying to calculate who's missing here. It is uh, Zelox, who is. I wonder, is there perhaps any issue there? Ninja Nick has not readied. Uh, I'm sure we'll be kept up to date as to what is happening. But if you have just joined us here in ESA Orange, there is $16,000 at stake. Not exactly in this match, but over the course of the tournament. That's the prize bill here for ESA Season 17. The team that loses this uh, best of three will be going home with the smallest cut of that one but the team that wins here will keep their dream alive they'll still have the potential of that winning lottery ticket about half of that do re me so uh that's something to encourage you if just you know traveling across the country with six guys to do it isn't enough for you <laughs> but uh it's interesting looking at the stats just comparatively looking at the scout damage um paragon and sizer both putting up 250 ddm as opposed to the Arctic Joe Enigma, about 180 or 190 a piece, more or less. But uh, Platinum Harblue just doing a lot of damage. So right now, it's more or less the Scouts for Street Hoops versus the Soldiers of Mixup, which is when you think of uh, Snake Water, it's not traditionally a uh, Soldier map. But um, with the way um, Mixup's running these double gunboats, you know they are having pretty solid success with it. Yeah, there was like one middle in particular that it was like Platinum hardly went flying by uh, Ash and Grape, but the only difference was that Grape and Ash were immediately destroyed by Arctic Joe and Enigma, whereas uh, Platinum and Harbly were in deep and doing damage, but um, that was just one little anecdote I picked out in one of the middles, but I still believe, you know, Street Hoops, the shoot, they have what it takes. 
to take it to a third map. But at the same time, you know, Classic makes up a lot of experience. This break is going to be uh, very valuable to them. They can sit there and try and analyze their own mistakes, maybe point out a few weaknesses of their opponents. And I'm expecting to come strong out of the break, you know, but uh, Street Hoops will obviously win eventually. <laughs> you, obviously. Uh, you certainly got that believer <laughs> fever. Well, uh, no, I think uh, definitely Classic Mixup will be coming up with it. Uh, some adaptations to their game plan here. They'll be trying to nip a few bad habits in the bud. I respect them, you know, as uh, thinkers of the game. I think they'll have a plan. That's all I'm trying to say. I feel you, I feel you, but uh, looks like Zaylock's having some issues. Hopefully they can be resolved soon so we can continue to get this really close game underway. But um, yeah, so far it's just the scouts for uh, Street Hoops really kind of keeping... Um, street, er, the scouts for street hoops are really kind of keeping this close, I feel like, and then the soldiers for mix-up are just doing a lot of damage. Um, I feel like whoever scouts or soldiers on the opposing sides kind of pick up the slack, I feel like, you know, that's going to be the difference maker that pulls it away. So I'm feeling like looking to Grape and Ash, as well as towards, um, Enigma and Arctic Joe kind of to be the difference makers in the second half. Both teams playing quite standoffish on middle. Platinum's starting to walk forward, but catches a sticky from Deadbolt there. Uh, he's still controlling that left hand side. Sides are trying to run forward directly. Hard blue going down though. It seemed like uh, Mix Up just wanted to get straight out of there. Platinum jumping away uh, on 20 health will survive, but Enigma's poking into that lower area. Ash has already jumped up onto the pipe there around Cheese. He's going to try and get back. He somehow survives on 11 health. But just as the cap comes in on middle, he has retreated. It's still six on six here. And uh, I mean, classic mix up. Really just respecting that. The fact they lost Harbly and getting the hell out of Dodge on middle. Yeah, anytime you drop a player early in mid, your odds not likely very good. But here we see Paragon go down and Platinum and Zalox starting to work their way in that saw room. Is that Harblu going for the bomb in here? Let me see, what is Harb up to as he lands a really nice direct on Ninja Nick. Ninja Nick down to 50 health, kind of out of the fight. I mean, if they take an uber exchange now, you know, Platinum so much as looks at Ninja Nick, he'll pop, but it looks like they're they're playing a little cautious, playing a little safe. Harblu did go down there. Um, so resetting here, it looks like the push though is coming out of Street Hoops. His grape is getting really close on the grass, but he is destroyed now. Ninja Nick gonna have to pop so early is is that a pause or just lag? Okay. Sizer though manages to sneak behind and pick off Zalox, but these next two frags are gonna be key. Grape goes down. If they can kill Ash here, they're in a good spot. No, Arctic Joe's gonna go down. Hard blue with a big bomb, but I think this is gonna go Street Hoops as way. Actually, that huge flank from Sizer might have been the difference maker. They need to pick a side and just fight. As a platinum manages to pick off Paragon. Nice arrow there by Ninja Nick, and oh no, I could have. This is the caster's jinx right there. Nice air <laughs> shot by Ash, but the, the fight is still going. They're gonna be sacking for the medic. Can they get to end us? Nice surf there. We have just the scout behind Sizer with 61 health, probably looping through cheese or lower here. Mix up knows this. Yeah, hard blue jumping towards the cheese, but uh, I feel like that was a slight misstep on Street Hoops. They were winning the fight. But like rather than pushing forward to deal with two people or backing up for like, you know, one or two people, they like stood in the middle and just got pinched as uh Harblue's gonna go down here. Yeah, I feel like they could have just moved forward and set up camp on the point, you know, and actually began to take control there because uh Deadbolt had done a great job of staying alive, he was right there as they were food it, putting out that damage. All they needed to do was really play around their own medic. Because Zelox was dead, like, there's no reason not to blob up there and just uh, abuse the heals and act as the meat shield there. And they sort of got separated out by the successive bombs of Platinum and Harblue. Like, they were in in two different waves at two different times, and uh, eventually they just sort of gave up. But if they'd stood on the point and done nothing, they would have at least capped. Yeah, so it's just one of those things, you know, is it the jitters, just a little bit of indecisiveness, kind of like with some of the pushes we had seen in um, Street Hoops' previous games where Grape kind of wants to push forward, but, you know, the rest of his team is not sure whether or not they want to commit, so, but, when you get two picks, that's a, uh, that's a green mean scale. You know, you're, you're kind of just driving in, casual little stroll, you take the place, observing the scenery, and then you park <laughs> here, making it your own, being all comfy. 
Platinum's uh, holding close on the right on the defender's perspective. He's looking to big damage early here. Uh, he sees Deadbolt trying to put out the stick. He's, he shows himself with a rock there, but uh, they're holding very close. They're looking to uh, totally deny any entry into the last point here. They're not going to sit back and uh, sort of allow the bombs to see what happens. Paragon as well is going to be sniping, and he's changed from looking at the roller door to looking under, looking for that angle, but there's nobody there. Somebody's just dropped across. It's Enigma playing Spy, in fact. I saw that red outline due to my delightful casting plugins, but uh, Enigma has gone all the way behind again, and now he's coming in looking for his pick, but immediately gets uh, singled out as an imposter there by Grape, who gives him duly. Now they're going to move in with this Uber charge. Paragon with a big headshot on the Harbour, even though the Uber hasn't done that much. They have found themselves with uh, one man advantage. Sides are just going down there to Platinum. He turns around and kills Grape as well, finding very important frags here to make this an even fight. And um, with Harblue and Enigma coming back up, they'll be liking, likely uh, pushing forward here. They are trying to regroup. Dialogue's very weak, takes a headshot. He's getting uh, valuable heals right now from Endust as Ash gets picked off below. I'm not sure if Mixup will still want to push here, but they could. Nah, Mixup probably going to slow it down there. A lot of Platinum is... Um... Definitely gonna cue them to just kind of slow it down. They're peaking a little bit here in the lobbies, pushed up kind of aggressively, but for the most part, I don't imagine them really trying to do anything here. Is uh, the looming threat of a sniper shot um, with the sight line he has in the lobby is really gonna deter any sort of aggression? Indeed, uh, I'm just being called Scottish in the Twitch chat. You know, I find that disgusting. I am, in fact, <laughs> from Ireland, Northern Ireland, but that's uh, an aside here. Uh, meanwhile, Deadbolt is down, so is Harblue. A little trade there, and Ash is going to give Enigma a taste of his own medicine here. He's playing a spy right now. He's in the lobby trying to uh, figure out what to do, I guess. The rest of his team are sitting well outside. They have still got a sniper in the form of Paragon, and Ash is creeping forward here. Uh, he sees Arctic Joe. He's, uh, he's doing the crouch push, that TF2 classic, uh, it's a staple, he's moved forward here, Arctic Joe is, he must be able to smell him at that range, man. <laughs> Smells like ash, he's like, there's a burnt <laughs> smell around here. Maybe Could Arctic Joe's a burning? smoker, so he, he, you know, he can't recognize. Either that or he might think he's having a stroke, I think that's one of the symptoms, but oh, he's man. <laughs> He's moving forward here. Somebody and, call an ambulance at the, uh, the ECA <laughs> land. Arctic Joe's, uh, his health might be in dire straits here. Uh, we have James Bond uncloaking. Here comes the scout. Not very sneaky as. Oh my god. He's oh! gonna get in dust. There you go. James Bond coming up. In dust has been dusted up with the ash. Swept up and put away. The Uber does come in from 20B, Sizer leading the charge, Platinum really low, they do have a lot of players alive, Can't, are they going to be able to hold this, Enigma gets Paragon, Arctic Joe gets great, what is going, wow, they, oh, words, man. words, think, there uh, are not enough words in the English dictionary to describe. Ninja Nick was trying to be too smart, he was like standing off the point, he didn't want to take damage, but if he just stepped on it with his soldier, they would have cut, but... He didn't do it, and they haven't capped, and now they've, uh... Ash is back on Spy again. You know, he's probably having better success on Spy than Rumor with his medics, <laughs> so he's gonna go for another one here. He's hiding up. So they think something's up, actually. What was that? Zalox was just, like, dead and stickies in the air. They're shooting all the walls. They know something's up here, Ash. It's just like, oh shit, son. <laughs> he's scared, you know. He's tired of being the only guy of Ash. He wants to turn dust into Ash, too. Get that end us pick, but it uh, looks like we just have you know mix up holding casually. I'd like to see. Well, we, we have Sizer on sniper too, so we have the double off class coming out. Um, you know, maybe we trust. Yep, end us we trust is great. Goes down. Uh oh, this this is gonna spell the push, and Ash is just gonna be behind him the whole time. Is he gonna get the Zaylox pick? No, he's gonna go down. That's two kills now. That's big trouble. The control point is being captured. Why don't people play Spy all the time? Uh, he has gone down, he's not going to spawn, he's not even going to get forward spawn in fact. So this will be 5, oh 5 versus 5 in fact, this hard blue goes in deep. Uh, doesn't get the force he was looking for, and 
Look at this aggression coming out from Grave and Deadbolt. They're trying to find frags in the saw room, looking for someone to kill. Zelox is isolating Grave up there. He was taking a fight with Platinum. Uh, Paragon did kill off Harblu way earlier, but he's back on the field now. And it's sort of a sketchy position here for 20B. They have managed to just eliminate that threat of Arctic Joe, and they're starting to move forward again, but they are just being denied constantly by Zelox, who's had very good control of this uh, sawmill, saw room throughout the, the whole map, really. He's played well there. Oh, Harblu's able to get a pick on Ash lower, hiding in the corner. Enigma's gonna go down the grape though, and Platinum as well, so Grape with a nice 2k there. Sizer dropping really low, this should cue the push from Grape, but looks like he's going kitchen. Is he going by himself? He's gonna be able to get a force here on Endus, really good play. I mean, he'll be going down for this, but uh, he got what he needed there. Ninja Nick now sitting with a full advantage, pushing with the scouts through lower here. Somebody's gonna have to get a force. They're down two, Harblu goes down. Actually, at this point, they can't even force. They just need to get out. That scout's caught in no man's land. Arctic Joe, Enigma coming in now. This is very, very curious to me picking the fight. Okay, he's deciding to back out, but down two people now on their two. Platinum is sitting above the place. Is he going to be able to get the opening here? He drops <laughs> Ash. Is he going to get the med pack in time? Paragon trying to deal with him here, but Rockets and choke points are oh! pretty good against Scout. Deadpool with a big double onto Enigma there, absolutely crushed him as he tried to just jump off the hut into the medic, but denied, huge pipes there, and uh, look at Arctic Joe actually hiding behind the little wire fence, the Uber's going in, but what's going to happen is the entire team are dead, that's what's going to happen, and now he's been spotted, can he kill five players, doesn't look like it, Arctic Joe will go down, Enigma's back on the field, haven't been humiliated previously, he wants more from Deadbolt, he's looking for vengeance, but he won't find it here. Times two on the point as the rest of Street Hoops move forward, but they stumbled here previously. They're getting in already and doing big damage. Platinum down at 80. Sizer's gonna come in and kill him off, but Enigma's picking up Ninja Nick and Deadbolt through that engagement on the right, and it looks like Street Hoops are gonna crumble again. Oh, oh my god, Enigma Lord. coming up in the clutch there, but I don't know if you saw what Platinum did, but that was like a really, really good decision. He uh, he recognized it was just him and Enigma at the time. He hit behind the shed, hit two really good spam rockets on the staircase as um, Deadbolt and Ninja Nick came in, and then as soon as he saw those, you know, he reloaded another rocket and just bombed on top of him and traded for like, you know, 300-something damage, and Enigma just, you know, he had a field day with that free, those free kills. Indeed, right now I'm looking at 20B sitting here with Paragon in that forward spawn as Sniper. They're trying to bait them onto the point and then sort of step out towards the saw room. The door has opened. He's going to find the headshot onto Arctic Joe. He's got chance for more, but he's going to respawn back. And with those two picks, you'd expect him to see Street Hoops trying to get the force out of Endust here. Platinum and Enigma are very far forward. In fact, Platinum. Uh, will go down to Deadbolt's stickies, but does kill Paragon from beyond the grave there. Uh, it's turned into Uber versus Uber here, and four players apiece. Spawn coming in just there for mix up as well. Arctic Joe back on the field, but this could be like sort of two ships passing the night here as one combo goes lower towards grass. They're already setting up on the cap. They've realized that something's up. 20B are trying to turn around. Zealox and Harblu focusing down Sizer instantly there before they even had time to pop that charge off. But uh, Paragon is going to join him as well, so big picks being found here by Classic Mixed Up. Great focus fire. Harblu going to go down there right at the end of that engagement, but with the respawn coming in of Platinum from the left hand side, this should be a pretty convincing engagement from Classic Mix Up. But Deadbolt's going to find another. Kills off Arctic Joe Grip on the Platinum. And it is indeed Curse of the Caster in full effect here. Sometimes it makes us wonder, Eds, what do we cast? Everything we say, the opposite just comes true. Uh, <laughs> that really, really looked like it was going to be a free round for Mixup, but once again, just uh, things get turned around and Street Hoops manage to hold on as we do have equal Uber scenario here, and this is still just a 2-2 two to -two game. Neither team has scored a round in this half. Yeah, sometimes uh, just hitting the shots can be enough, and 20B have done that. In the last engagement, Harblu gonna <laughs> he should just like, you know, ban himself from using that window ever. Tries to go out the window again but gets uh, taken out by Paragon. 
There are a few stickies here around the Sorum from uh, Zelox, but the attempt at push through green from 20B has backed out now. Ninja X being pressured. Platinum separated him from the rest of his team. Platinum on the chase here. He's got the shotgun oh. against the drop. Oh, Platinum on 3 HP gets the shotgun drop onto Ninja Nick. He didn't want to pop. He knew his team were there. He trusted them, but they let him down. Heartbreaking stuff. Pop it, don't drop it right there is uh, like... That's that's just playing with fire there. That that was asking to drop, not popping in that scenario. Now mix up, full advantage coming in. Grape should be going down here. Hard blue might go down to Ash. We are gonna have a wave of sacks, but at this point, oh, this this has to be around ads. I mean, we've seen some failed pushes before, but I feel like this one. You trying to jinx these I, guys? I can't, You're like, I can't oh, yeah. be cursed. I can't be cursed. This <laughs> one's a shoe in. Just show me the money already. All right. I think you're gonna shoot all these stickies off the deck comes in, but there are bodies there to block Grape on Pyro. Trying to do his best. It's all on Deadbolt, Ninja Nick, and I we are not gonna make it happen. Everyone's dead. Classic mix-up are gonna take the round. And that will bring us to What's the score? <laughs> Three to two now. That was a, that was a first round there. Yeah. So we're gonna have another mid fight. Oh, I was thank God it was in the pause. Just a little bit of lag there. Hiccuping is uh, well, I don't know who to watch. I'm gonna watch a medic mid. I'm gonna watch Ninja Nick after he uh, dropped. I want to see who does he give the health to on these mids. He's rolling out this top left side. It's a little rare to watch uh, a medic pop, but spreading out the health. His team opting to play a little passive here manages to kill Hard Blue really early. This is actually going pretty well, but Ash and Paragon all of a sudden. They both go down. Great manages to get a kill on Enigma. The next kill, I think, seals the deal here as they have point presence. Mix-up members trying to come in. Is Platinum going to live up top? No, Platinum goes down. This should be a Street Hoops mid. And there we have it. Yeah, good target selection by Street Hoops going for the guy who couldn't be healed up there. Platinum uh, focused down pretty quickly. Harblue is going to pick up the med pack below and then be spotted out by Grape. He's trying to surf away. He's Grape wants to chase him here. He's not going to take the bait, in fact, he's going to move back towards the med pack. He's trying to control it. He's taking a lot of spam there. He needs a little help, but uh, nothing is going to come of that. Neither team really committing to find these frags. And as such, both players surviving. Yeah, so once again, we have the good old two stalemate here. Um, Ash, going to do the window jump maybe? Let's see. Window jump. No, nope, no window jump. Just the uh, standing lower. I don't even remember what happened last time. I feel like at some point, somebody just kind of got bored and walked into each other, and then we, we somehow cracked the two stalemate. So I don't ever recall a window jump working today. Yeah, I'm trying to think as well, you know. Uh, my mind is a blank right now. <laughs> oh, I see this what is... you did there. That's very admirable of you. <laughs> Anyways, okay, enough of those punsters. Um, Ash, not going for any sort of jump. Let's see, Deadbolt, just kind of locking this down. Mixup is up here, 3 to 2, so something has to happen from... Oh, Zalox is actually going to eat a lot of damage here. Can Deadbolt connect? Oh, Zalox is still kind of cut out here. Yeah, he's going to get dropped. Oh my god, no. Indos hits an arrow. Clutch save there. Zalox was in no man's land, but he gets billed out. Nice arrow by Endust, and all of a sudden we're gonna go back to a stalemate. It looked like we were finally gonna have something happen. Don't get uh, the people's hopes up, man. This is Snake War. High stakes, big money on the line over the course of this tournament. And uh, now Platinum, he's, he's, he's feeling it's time to go. He's gonna find Sizer, juggles him up with Run Rocket, finishes him off with a second. The Brown Bear has been slain. There is action hack happening on the, the flank as well. Enigma's taking a one-on-one -on -one with Paragon, but neither scout wins. Enigma's gone back to uh, look for the kit, but... What? Oh. Harbo's in deep. Gets the drop onto Ninja Nick. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. Ninja Nick had an Uber, then it was just hard blown away. But uh, <laughs> Platinum just kind of walking through lower now. Zalox gets the kill on Ash. He is going to go down. Grape goes down. Still no force. We have the back up here. It's probably Sizer. Or Paragon, doesn't really matter which. Platinum gets the kill. Here comes Sizer. Ooh, that was a really good direct by Platinum. Saving his own life there. If he uh, missed that shot, I believe he would have gone down. But this should be a free mid cap for Mixup, as well as they're just. They should be able to roll the Uber into two. 
Yeah, Deadbolt's uh, got a trap on the saw blade there. Three stickies on the pillar as well. But it seems like Mixup are setting their course towards the grassy area. They've moved in there already. Harblue jumping from the window, nails it. Whatever, it's not important at all. And uh, he's picked up the kit moving forward, spamming great back there. But Paragon is in the lobby and he's got sight of the point. Makes up or whatever they're doing the push underneath here. They're trying to come around and catch them in the lobby, but uh, they've already backed out. Street hoops are safely on their last. I say safely, they're about to face uh, potentially six invulnerable players here bursting through this roller door. Platinum's going to take the charge in. Zelox as well getting blast. Platinum gets juggled. Oh, Sky with oh, Minasundry there. Oh, Headshot man. mid air by Paragon. Disastrous. Yeah, Platinum. Uh... All of a sudden, you know, he's like, I thought I was invincible, but Paragon just took his head off. And Ninja Nick, huge uber advantage here. Are we going to see the push out? They're down 3-2. to two. I'm, I'm starting to wonder what the time is left, like, in this half. Yeah, it looks like they're recognizing, you know, they got to make something happen. The pressure is on them. Ash is going to be respawning the watch last. They really got to try and do something with these advantages. I mean, you don't get many openings like that where Paragon's going to headshot somebody. Well, okay, Harblue can turn the corner and just get evaporated as a... Uh, Deadbolt finds his right click. Grape finally gonna push out. He gets oh. evaporated the sticky, so all of these traps just uh, <laughs> picking off soldiers left and right. Enigma was hiding in cheese there as well. Um, just on, He just allowed uh, Sizer to run past him and then tried to go in through lobby maybe for a back cap or a medic pick, but uh, didn't find it. Grape went down though and that is gonna queue right. the street hoops to back off to last. They're sitting here and wait with Paragon on sniper. He's moving forward on the right hand side. He's gonna look for a shot here. It's cookie cutter for mix up. No off classes. Paragon fires off a shot, gives his position away, and now we'll face pressure from Harblue. But Harblue's uh, been baited into Ash, but it doesn't take that much damage. He continues to catch all these rollers, who so jumps in on 50 health, and he gets the prize <laughs> somehow. Gets the stick. This is where you type in all chat, just worth it. He says, ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, both teams down two people, four four players apiece, 100% Uber. The clock is winding down though. Mix up, you know, they have all the time in the world to figure out how to push this last. Uh, street hoops running out of chances. So if you guys believe out there, you know, now's the time for miracles. There is double spy here. I repeat, double spy. Enigma and Horrible. Both playing the spy glass right now. Enigma's just chilling. Oh, jeez. He's uh, gonna allow Harblue to go in, I guess, and mm, show him. Nope, they're both moving in now. Enigma from the left, Harblue from the right. Harblue's uh, up on top of the point. Enigma's are dancing around the truck here. Uh, who is Enigma gonna choose to go for? Harblue showed himself as spy. Oh, Enigma goes in. <laughs> Neither of them well, getting anything done here. 007, more like 00 there, well. honestly. That's just spy too, what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> World's first is a Paragon goes down, um, Enigma and Harblue both spawning. I, I think the 00 strat probably gonna be shelved, that was kind of a one and done kind of deal. Uh. Kurt just telling us there that he thinks that's the first time we've ever seen three spies on the field in a ESCA LAN final game. That's a beautiful record to set, but right now Uber's being traded on last. Platinum forcing a, a few flashes out there from Ninja Nick, but uh, they have decided to back out. Platinum won't make it. Uh, Zelox died previously, just coming back on the field very shortly, but uh, here we see Street Hoops with a great opportunity to push. No demo man, no pocket. They're starting to work their way forward here. But who is it they're missing? It's Horrible who's on last as Spy. He's waited for his moment here. There's no respawns coming in. Nobody's going to be able to make it back in time. Horrible will get this cap. Well, Classic. one Spy is better than two, right? Double O zero than one. <laughs> one something. I don't even know where I'm going with these numbers anyway. Four to two lead. Classic mix up. Horrible gets the back cap. We got one more mid fight potentially on our hands here, Eds. Because I'm going to watch uh, Harblue kind of doing the rollout lower. Is he going to go kitchen here? Interesting. So Harblue rolling out kitchen is Roamer. Something you never really see delaying a little bit. He gets a rocket on a scout there. He's going to get an easy bomb on the demo. Drops Deadbolt as well. Sees a scout there. He's still really healthy. He uh, drops Sizer or Paragon. Not sure which really low. And we have another mid fight win. 
potentially for a mix-up is I don't think Sizer or Paragon are going to take this. Sizer's hiding here in the kitchen. Harbly's wondering where he went. Three of them looking around. Now they're coming in. Paragon coming in too. They're trying to find Frag. Sizer gets one. Paragon gets another. But they were already outnumbered in that fight. And it will be the last man standing. Enigma who cleans up both of them. Uh, in come the reinforcements. Platinum. Enigma's just continuing to go forward here. But Platinum uh, in Dust and Zelox are now moving from middle through the kitchen. And... They could just hold here. There's only six minutes left, as we saw whenever that round was capped out. But uh, they could hold. They could wait for River, make a very low risk play here. But yeah. look at the the yeah. body language here. Do, do Street Hoops want to push without it? Uh, they you know, Street Hoops at this point they kind of have to start going for the really really high risk plays. As Paragon goes down here, they don't really have time to wait for him to respawn. I feel like almost like. I'd say they want to try and put this round away in the next two to three minutes, which if you figure, you know, one minute per per point, assuming unless, like, you wipe them, um, you know, you have you can maybe tie this up here, but they gotta go now. They wait for the Paragon respawn, but, you know, every second that ticks down, you know, time is not on their side. Indeed. Uh, they have waited. It is Uber versus Uber. Hopefully, trying to jump down there and see if you could catch someone off guard, but will retreat to middle and it's Sizer who's going to die first. Platinum managing to catch him out there and as you say the clock is ticking things are going to get more and more desperate here. They've been taking a one on one with Paragon in the lobby. Arctic Goose coming in to back him up but uh, no one will be right there. Then Harblue comes in, gets the force and now classic mix up will just be waiting here to see how far Street Hips want to overextend and it seems not at all Grape's going to peak just from the window there, then back off. There is action happening on the flank, but right now Mixup don't have a flank. They're all just blobbed up here. They're playing together. Zelox isn't getting the heals. It's Platinum who's looking for a buff. And it, Deadbolt gets that frag. He's going to be able to... Joe doesn't make out the window. Platinum catches him. And meanwhile, the flank has been busted open by Paragon and Sizer. So this whole Uber play hasn't borne any fruit whatsoever. In fact, they've just been... Pinstered there, Zelox on the respawn is going to be setting up traps lower, but really, classic mix-up totally outplayed there. I that was very, very curious. Like mix-up was able to force the other teams over without losing theirs, um, only dropping hard blue, and then all of a sudden, you know, they pop their Uber, but half their team is dead. Um, so perhaps you know a little bit of miscommunication on what they wanted to do with the Uber that they managed to preserve there. I believe Zelox probably wanted to go forward, whereas you know the rest of the flank of mix-up was. Still just kind of chilling, but uh, they have a full advantage here for Street Oops. They, this is do or die time. I believe if they fail this push, um, you can call the game at this point. But if they if they manage to put a round away here, they've got a chance. Oh, they've gone in very close here. Sizer with the flash is looking to put damage onto the heavy, but they're so close to the, the spawn door that damage is sort of irrelevant. You can just resupply it. They need to be playing the point right now, but Paragon realizes it too late. Enigma comes in with the block. He's denied the cap potential here. Uh, it's Zelox trying to focus down Deadbolt, he's just walked onto the point, he's getting a lot of time there. Deadbolt, big pipe, sticky act, in fact, kills off Arctic Joe. There are crossbow bolts being popped off there by Ninja Nick, but he's just gonna back out. They must still believe there's enough time to get these two rounds that they need. Yeah, I'm gonna call the game right now. Like, what they <laughs> needed to do there, Street Hoops, is this is similar to like the Elevate game, you know, they push in, they really try to focus the heavy, but like. A lot of times they're shooting these guys who are already running in the spawn doors and, you know, wasting all their ammo, not getting the kills, and, like, Harblue is just sitting on the red crate right behind him and they didn't look, and as soon as the Uber faded, you know, he just drops two rockets on their head and, you know, pushes over. But, uh, here we see a dry push happening as, you know, they, they have to take risk at this point as they just, time is not on their side and we have the heavy coming out, and Enigma just playing the heavy weapons guy. Mixup, are they even going to push out here? I mean, they got forced. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to push out. They know that, you know, at this point, they can just kind of wind the clock down and this is their game to lose. Yeah, but it would take something uh, quite miraculous for Classic Mixup to throw this one. Harbly is about to get caught out there in the kitchen, though, flanked and smashed. Grape getting credit, but uh, it was a team effort. Paragon moving forward to draw Enigma out of position. Grape again with the follow up finds the frag, but Zeolox is pumping out the damage here. Sizer and Grape go down to his stickies, but the Uber comes out from Ninja Nick. 
as they uh, pop off and cap. He and Deadwell are going to cap, but they sent both scout or Paragon onto last. In fact, Sizer dead earlier. I misspoke, but uh, they did cap four, but they haven't really made a dent into this defense on last yet. Pyro coming out as well there. Enigma going to play the reflecting class. Oh boy. Pyro is a very fun class to play against uh, when we play a projectile class, but Harblu does go down here, so maybe that'll cue some aggression out of Street Hoops as they, they probably have about three minutes left in this half, I'd say, maybe two minutes. Uh, the clock's really winding down here, and I mean, they're really close to their Uber, but here comes the pop out of end uh, Scrape's gonna go down. Maybe Deadbolt lives. Deadbolt lives. If they can get like a scout to sync up with him right here, Ash needs to take off his skill stick. Or okay, Deadbolt can go down <laughs> and Ash. Never mind. Um, th this has to be the miracle meet. Ninja Nick standing still there for a second. So I think, you know, accepting his fate, recognizing that this game is probably over. There comes the GG, and so mix up will continue to go through the brackets and 20B Street Hoops, the believers unfortunately, you heretics, um, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't pull it out, you know? You failed, stalemate. Ah, uh, just had my, uh, my whole belief system shattered. I'm rocked to my very core. But it does seem that Street Hoops Esport, uh, the run in the tournament is over. It wasn't really a, a pretty one. That victory from Classic Mixup on Snake War, but they did what was needed. Uh, they took it all the way to the time limit on both halves, and they have earned their way into a battle against either Elevate or Fruyu Tech. Who do you think they want to face in the next round? Uh, they're going to want to face Elevate. I believe Mixup, what they're going to want to do is it's going to be a best of three series with Elevate, and from there, you know, that's that's a close one. Um, but that's where, like I said, mix up. Maybe they'll piece together their game plan on how they want to play against 4G, or you know, they go with the run and gun style. But I think, as we saw earlier, that's probably not going to work out, and you know, they'll lose their momentum and just gradually lose. But um, 